All right, guys, hope everyone's doing well. Coming at you with a new video. I want to show you how to winterize the uh, DIY solar pool heater. It's turning into a nice cold fall here, so I want to go ahead and get all the water out. I'm going to use some uh, air to do that, and I'll uh, show you the special adapters I'm using here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, guys, I want to show you what I'm using for hardware to get air in and water out on the DIY solar pool heater. So my compressor uses quarter inch air nozzle. This is quarter inch thread here. I'm using right now a quarter inch to three eighths adapter because of my valve here to shut air on and off into the DIY solar pool heater is three eighths. So I'm going three eighths to quarter inch. This is how I'm going to input air into the water lines and then I'm going 3 8 to 5 8 barb. Now this may differ if you're using something uh, different kind of holes, different size and so forth but this is what I need it for. So this is all for the input. This goes into the holes. This goes to my air compressor here and then on the output of the holes I just have a 5 8 barb and I'm going to uh, a standard half inch nozzle here and this hooks up to a garden hose so once I pump it all full of air I'm just gonna go ahead open this up and it should let out all the water and air might do it a couple times to get all the water out all right guys got my inlet on here don't forget to use Teflon tape to make sure everything's sealed up here if you don't use it you're gonna have leaks all over the place now here's the outlet everything's hooked up just turn the nozzle once it's pressurized and the water and air should come out. All right guys, I've got my pancake compressor here. I have about uh, 40 to 50 pounds of pressure. I'm gonna keep the pancake compressor off and just put this air into the water lines here. If I need more, I'll turn the compressor on and pressurize it a little bit more. Now to add air, all I need to do here is just turn this on. Here we go. You can hear air going in there. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, dirty. All right guys, you see I've done this a couple times. So the trick here is getting the air pressure right. Now that most of the water is out, there's more room for air and it's taking a lot more air to blow out the lines here. I'm going ahead setting my air pressure between 40 and 50 PSI. As I turn the valve on, a lot of that air goes into the lines and fills it up. So I just make sure my compressor is off and then I open up the air line. All the air from the pancake compressor goes through the wire lines and it blows out all the water. So everything's working really well here. So I'm gonna do this one more time, run air through everything, make sure that all the water is out. All right guys, just thinking about the setup here, thinking that perhaps this on off valve is not necessary needed. You just need to get air in. You can control the on off with the compressor and just keep opening up your valve at the end. But uh, I actually like it here. It seemed to work pretty well. I can shut it off instantly if I need to, if I run into a problem, okay? So there are the parts, easy process to do here. All right guys, got it done here. The water's out of the lines and this has been a nice little DIY project. Very pleased with the process. Some trial and error, but in the end everything worked out really well. So you can use this process whether you have to drain your pool heater or if you have a cabin or a house that needs uh, water drain because you're winterizing and so forth. So guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And we'll catch you next time.